So now in this video, we want to set a voltage across the load by using a Zener diode. That's the easiest way to get a steady voltage. Unfortunately, with the uh, Zener diode, you need some current flowing through it and to use a resistor to limit that current. If you apply that directly to a load, the load will throw that off because it'll be drawing away current. You need to help hold that uh, voltage. So it's very tricky to uh, make it work uh, directly. So we will just take a transistor. We take that Zener voltage and give it to the base of the transistor. So now that will transfer down here. You do need current flowing though through the transistor to do so. So you need that connection. We'll come up, come back to that in a little bit. But in any case, the uh, voltage transfers, but you lose about uh, 0.6 volts. And so if you're using 5.6 volt Zener diode to the base, you'll have 5.6 volts there. You lose 0.6 volts, you'll end up with 5 volts right there. So we're going to protect an LED with 220 ohms. That's the bare minimum resistance for 5 volts right there. And uh, so that'll hold 5 volts steady. The current needed to hold that voltage is going to be delivered by the transistor. That's just the way it works when you have it wired as an emitter follower. Now we have this other resistor here. And this 10 kilo ohm resistor, some loads will throw off that voltage. For one reason or other, they tend to be semiconductor loads. And uh, so if you just put resistance to a ground, uh, you don't really need hardly any current flowing through. 10 kilo ohms works uh, pretty well, but it helps stabilize that voltage, hold it pretty good. So the uh, schematic form right here, we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor schematic symbol. It's NPN, the arrow's not pointing in. That might help remember NPN, not pointing in. And uh, the emitter is the arrow, the base is the bar over there, and then the collector is uh, on top right there. So we're going to use the 2N3904. And that's the uh, pin layout when you're looking at the flat side. So that voltage will not depend on the power supply voltage at all. That's what's nice about this. We can change the power supply voltage. We'll have a steady voltage. Whereas when we had the voltage divider in an earlier circuit, it uh, moved with the uh, voltage divider. I think I made that circuit. But in any case, this one, we have the Zener diode setting a certain voltage. So that will be transferred other than being 0.6 volts lower. And here we are on the uh, breadboard. So the uh, Transistor here, 2N3904. If it starts with 2N, the flat side's to the right, then the top pin should be the collector, middle pin the base, and the bottom pin the emitter. All of my 2N bipolar junction transistors are like that. So collector has to the positive supply, the uh, base there, to the Zener diode. Now remember the Zener diode is reverse bias. I didn't mention that uh, before. And uh, so the cathode goes to the positive supply, the anode towards the negative, uh, most diodes, you don't want them to conduct reverse bias, but the Zener diode is an exception. It's made to do so. And then you get its Zener voltage when it's reverse bias. So at the emitter there, 220 ohm resistor coming to the anode because it's an LED. It does have to be forward bias. And then the cathode uh, to ground right there. So that's why the LED is lighting up. And there's our 10 kilo ohm resistor to help us hold the voltage. But uh, we probably don't need it. So we uh, come back to the multimeter. This particular multimeter, it's auto ranging. I just have to turn the dial to V for voltage. It does the rest for a DC, for AC, you would uh, hit that button. But in any case, red probe stays in uh, that one spot unless we're measuring high current. So really easy to use multimeter, but uh, they don't really sell it anymore. You can find it, but uh, you gotta really look around. So. There we got uh, just shy of 5 volts. We will come to where the Zener diode is and see it's 5.6 volts. So we got that uh, 0.6 volt drop due to the base 2 emitter diode right there. So power supply is set to 7 volts right now. So here's the nice thing about using the Zener diode to set the voltage is that it doesn't change the way that we had it wired up. It does a spec, but in any case, we may have to, uh, yeah. We reached the uh, maximum current I set this to. So it would only provide 20 milliamps of current. What it does, it lowers voltage as needed to prevent uh, too much current from uh, going through the circuit. So where we go? Let's actually go up to, might as well do 14 volts. So this is pretty close to the maximum voltage we should do. So that current that we see is through the LED plus through the uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor, setting the current for the Zener diode. And this may even uh, make it move 
maybe it would be a 21 milliamps without that 10k and then with it having the current go that may be enough to bump it up so just be aware that's all the currents added together that's not the current going through the LED the LED should have the exact same current going through it for the most part because it should have close to exactly the same voltage so there you can see we got 5 volts looks like it went a spec higher and so the Zener dial does start letting through a little more or building up a little bit more voltage as current goes higher through it but we we literally doubled the uh, voltage and so it should have twice uh, more than twice the current going through it and it didn't change a ton so there we go we got 14 volts at the power supply because remember it builds up about 5.6 volts across it the rest of the voltage goes across the uh, resistor so at lower voltages not much voltage is across the resistor and uh, not much current is flowing but at higher voltages it only still takes away 5.6 volts and so it's less of an impact at higher voltages more current goes through the resistor so in any case hope that all made sense make sure you check out one of the other videos i'm posting on the screen turn off the uh, multimeter click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can that helps out the most but just watching videos helps out a ton thanks to everybody that uh, watches them i will see you in the next video